so, so yeah, so just going with one realtor right now, it seems to be going okay. Um, he's getting his leads. He's happy. We had to tweak the ad three times just cause I had to put more information to sort of get more higher intent or better quality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it seems to be going okay, but we haven't, we haven't got into the car tree yet. Of, yeah. It's just Facebook lead forms. Lead forms. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right on, man. And, and just keep in mind, it's, it's really about, it's really about content, bro. Like it's really about content. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of just business owners in general, especially real estate agents, but just in general business owners, they think that one ad is going to do for it, do it for them. You know what I mean? A lot of people are like that, bro. Like they're like, dude, this one ad, this one ad. And it's like, dude, it's not that way. Like you got to be willing to put one out every freaking week, not every day, but at least every week. And, and, and that's, that's branding. That's like marketing 101. Like people have to see you over and over and over. They can't just see one ad. And especially if it's, if it's not even you in video, if you're just posting some random house, when we all seen a million houses, that's a lot of realtors mm-hmm. do. They'll post a freaking image of a property um, especially, if, and, and, and if it's not even a listing, they'll just post a, whether they're giving away a buyer guide or a seller guide and they'll post an image of a beautiful home. It's like, dude, there's no personality. It's not that one ad that's going to do it for you. You know, you gotta, you gotta be willing to put out a lot. Um, and not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really trying to over, you know, over, overdo it as far as like freaking a hundred ads, but you gotta be willing to do one, like do one at least every week. And, and, and most, are, most aren't even doing that, you know? Is that consistent, like one a week until, like forever? No, no, not necessarily. It's just Facebook ads. And that's why with lead forms, you could still do the same thing with lead forms um, as far as retargeting custom audiences. Because that's what it's all about, bro. It's all about the retargeting. Like one ad goes out and the people who engage with that ad or the people who click on learn more and then the lead form pops up or the people who fill out the lead form, all this engagement that's going on, you should be creating a custom audience of all those people. And, 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 and especially the people who didn't fill out the form. So if they just click like on the post or if they comment on the post or if they share the post or if they, they click on learn more and open up the lead form, but they don't fill it out, that's all engagement. And, and those people should be in a custom audience. And so what it's really all about, what Facebook ads is really all about, dude, 99% of it is retargeting all those people who engaged with Facebook ad number two. That's what no one does, bro. No one does that. Like they'll run one ad and they'll just think that's the, the home run hitter and they won't even bother to create a custom audience and retarget all those people who didn't fill out the form. They engaged, but they didn't fill out the form. Um, and so mm-hmm. that, that, that's what it's all about. So, so week number two comes around and then boom, we have a custom audience from all those who engaged with Facebook ad number one. Now we roll out Facebook ad number two, seven days later, and we retarget all those people. We continue to target our, our zip codes or our city or town, whatever you're targeting. You continue to target that on every single ad every week. I'm saying one every week, but however you want to play that out every 10 days, every 15 days, whatever, every one, every week is simple but you're retargeting all those people from the previous week along with those, along with who you're targeting, you know, to begin with. So if I'm targeting San Diego, okay, I'll leave that targeting San Diego, but I'm also retargeting everyone who engaged in the previous weeks. And so that's why video marketing is, is so powerful because you can retarget those who watch 20% of it, those who watch, 50% 50% of it. Those who watch 75% of your two minute video, you can put in a special group, a custom audience and retarget all those people. Because again, they're not, your home run is not going to happen on that first ad. You have to run ad number two. You have to run ad number three. You have to retarget all of these people. You have to build that brand. And, and again, we're not talking major budget, dude. We're talking pennies, dude. Like we're not target, talking a huge budget, but it's strategy. It, it's mm-hmm. the strategy that most don't implement. Yeah. Um, so and it, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I've watched a ton of your videos. So right on, I, I, I think I've got this five-step program down pat and typed it up and everything. Uh, and I, I think it's awesome. Um, but the, the one, the one question I had is uh, when I open this Karcher account, I'll be in a trial period. Mm-hmm. And I know this realtor that I'm working with, he's like, yeah, let's do it. Um, in a trial period, do you know if I can get an affiliate link to pass on 
or do I have to switch into a paying? No, you could, you should be able to, you should be able to get an affiliate link for sure. Um, and you would email, set up the 14 day trial and then email. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me get that email for you. It's actually, okay. it's not, it's not a Kartra email because Kartra, Kartra is owned by, um, I think it's, I think it's Genesis Global, which is the actual. Oh, sorry. I think you mean Genesis Digital. Genesis Digital. Because yes. Because I, I put it on the Facebook page and the administrator replied saying, email the account manager. Yes. So I, I did do that. And I asked the question because if I sign up for the 14 day, it'd be nice to have an affiliate link that I can hurry mm -hmm. up and, and sign mm -hmm. up this realtor. Mm -hmm. And then I can get him those landing pages and get going. Yes. Let me, so you, so you do have the email or you don't? Yeah. If that's what you're talking about. I think it was like JV at. Perfect. Yeah. I got Genesis it right here. Digital. Yeah. JV at Genesis digital dot co. Yeah. So I emailed him just waiting to respond. Yeah. Um, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can dude. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, yeah. Cause I don't know how they pay me. Well, I don't know how you get paid. You get paid right away or, or when no, you get paid, no, you get paid a month, like a month later. It's like a month out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And they pay you through PayPal. PayPal. Oh, okay. So yeah. they don't, so if I do Stripe, they don't do Stripe. No, they won't, they won't deposit in your Stripe. Stripe is just for you to charge credit cards. Oh, okay. So, so <laughs> that's all that's for. Um, and then, and then any, anyone would either make a deposit to you, to your bank account, or they'll make a deposit to you through PayPal. And what do you, what do you usually do? It's all with, 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 with Karcher, It's only PayPal. No, like when you're, when you're with a realtor and they're going to pay you for your services, are you, what are you using? Oh, I Stripe. I, yeah. Stripe? Yeah. yeah I, I use Stripe. Yeah. Yeah, for okay. sure. Um, and, um, I could have swore I heard you something say something in a video about a business email. Um, should I sign up with a business email or sign up with my normal Gmail and just put the, the business email in somewhere else when I email people on automation or something. Yeah. Let me, um, you, yes, you could do, you could do either one. Um, let me show you right here. So you can either, when you set up your 14 day trial, you can use a Gmail if you like. Um, okay. and then once you're in, then you would come over here to my integrations Okay. And you would simply go to Kartra mail right here and you click on these three dots and you would click edit. And then you would simply put in your business email, email right there. Got it. Okay. So now every, every email that comes out from you would be that business email and every reply would be to that business email. Okay. And do you think I need the business email? You need opinion? it. It's required. You need it for Kartra. Oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This, so this cannot through... be a Gmail. Okay. So I can buy it through Gmail. I think it's like seven bucks a month and you get like, Scott at my business.com. What I would do is have you got the dot com yet? Yeah, I bought it from GoDaddy for like okay, a buck. I would I used your tip and I got it for a buck. So that's awesome. Heck yeah, bro. Heck yeah. I would reach out to GoDaddy and just say and, and they have to walk you through it, which is like a five minute phone call. But just reach out to them and say, Hey, I need to set up email forwarding with this dot com and I want it to forward to my Gmail. Can you walk me through it? Oh, okay. Okay. But make sure you so specifically there, is there any, say that. Is, is there any reason you, you choose GoDaddy over like Gmail business? Because it's not seven bucks a month. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude, like GoDaddy, it's free. But you Go, have to specifically GoDaddy. let them know that you're looking to forward it, not, an e not a new email. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because they, will, they do have an email account that they will sell you if that's what they think you're, you're looking to do. But no, I don't need a new email account. I need to simply take this dot com that I already purchased and I need to set up an email forwarding to my existing Gmail. So okay. now we can have Scott at your business.com, whatever that you know domain is. Right. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then what you do also is you come in here to my integrations and you come to the Google one and you connect your Gmail to Kartra. That way the Karcher calendar can communicate with your Gmail, with your Google calendar. If you use your Google calendar to, to kind of stay up on things, I, which I do. Yeah, not, so, not really just because I haven't had my own business in a while. So okay, okay. I haven't really needed to do that, but you know, 
going this route. I'm trying to make everything as easy as possible. <laughs> okay, so go this route then. So whatever that Gmail is, you're going to be using that calendar for everything as well. But you're not booking through that calendar. You're booking through Kartra's calendar. And right. as you book through Kartra's calendar, let me show you an example. As I book through Kartra's calendar, that, ca that, that, that booking syncs with my Google calendar. So I keep up with my Google calendar. I have it on my computer. I have my Google calendar on my cell phone. So I'll get the notification. These, in here, these three in purple right here, those were scheduled through my Kartra calendar. Okay. And it simply just talks to my Google calendar. So yeah, okay. so the Google calendar is what you want to kind of go off of. Now you can always look in, in your, you can always look, look inside of Kartra and go to my calendars and you can click on my, you can click on agenda right here and you can see all your appointments that were booked through that calendar, but Kartra doesn't have an app. And so I don't want to be always logging into Kartra from my cell phone. Mm -hmm. to, to, to come in here and click my calendars and click on agenda. And especially I don't get a notification on these either. So oh, okay. I can only get that notification on Google. Right. So far. So far. I mean, unless, you know, Kartra upgrades or whatever, but that notification that I have this appointment with Scott, it's on my Google calendar. Right. You know, okay. so that's what you yeah. want to set up for sure. Okay. Now I don't know if you can do this, but, is there a way to sort of send our chat to me in an email afterwards so I can do this correctly or is that not possible? No, I can record this for us. Yeah, but is there a way for it to send it to me afterwards so I can go through what oh, you yeah, just told dude. me? Yeah, for sure. I'll have it okay. on my YouTube channel. Yeah, Because it'll take me a while to type as you're talking. So No, I'll it's all good. Don't even worry about it, bro. I'll freaking yeah. record it. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, now, do you, rec do you think I should get business cards? Do you think I need those for um, local people that I meet and talk to or if that's what you want? Um, it just depends on how you're, how you plan on strategizing your marketing, you know, um, just like you, like I'll be honest, I'm new and I was a realtor and I think what you're doing is awesome. And I feel like your plan is, I wish, like, I wish I could just copy it. Like copy I think it. you have people on Facebook, you go down realtors and you just click invite, invite. Yeah. And I thought that would be a way to obviously talk to realtors that are outside of my local area. Yeah. So I thought I'd start there for outreach. I've already started deleting people off my Facebook. Good, good. Um, I, so I'm I just I'm trying to sure, follow bro. what you do. Sorry? No, no, yeah. I, I would do that for sure. Like, so in my case, again, since 2016, since I've been doing this, I literally haven't stepped out of my house. I don't have a business card. Like I haven't spoke to anyone and even, even realtors that live in the neighborhood or live, live around the way, like I drive, you know, I'm driving all the time. I'll see like a realtor, you know, their, their car drive by with their decal on their door or whatever, or I'll drive down neighborhoods and I'll see a, you know, for sale sign with their face and their phone number. I don't even, I don't even bother. Like I don't even bother because I have so many online, bro, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, pick one of those three, even Twitter. I mean, you can even find realtors on Twitter. But mm -hmm. however, whichever platform you plan on using, choose one and, 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 just, and just do your outreach there and, and send the direct message, bro. Like send the direct message because I can reach so many people that way than I can possibly physically walk down the street and knock on a door. Like True. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy, nor do I want to pick up the phone and call a bunch of people. So I'd rather direct message an individual when it's damn near 99.99% open rate than just email people or cold call people or door knock people. So to answer your question, I don't think you need business cards. I don't have a business card. Like I, I just ordered some now for my new business that I'm about to roll out, but I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. But the that's, silver. Yeah. yeah, bro. And so my whole pivot, I'm about to pivot real, real soon. Like I'm pivoting really, really soon. Like as in, as in a, as in probably a week or so. So I'm going to be pivoting and, 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 and now teaching realtors how to make an extra income, um, right. how to diversify and how to simply start referring solar to their clients. Um, as they close the deal, that homeowner is going solar. Like that homeowner is going to get hit up by somebody to go solar. So it might as well be that realtor that simply refers them and makes, you know, seven, 10 grand on the deal. Right. You know, so I'm going to be pivoting and, and, and kind of branding myself to that. Um, 
And so I need, but, but at the same time, I'm going to go get, I'm going to go get some solar customers. I mean, out here in San Diego, they're going 100, 100% solar. California wow. is, is, is going 100% solar. Florida, we're freaking light. We're general contractors in Florida. Florida is lit up right now. We're going solar and Texas, like North Carolina, like we're lighting up all these States with solar. So I'm going to personally go get clients in my local backyard. That's why I ordered business cards. Um, but if you're doing anything online, it's like, dude, you don't, you don't need business cards, man. You know? Mm. So okay. yeah, that's what I'm going to be pivoting to really, really soon. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so when I when I sign up, I'll probably be signing up tonight, like this evening. Right on. Uh, so, is there? Are you able? I think you may have mentioned this. Maybe you changed it. Um, but are you able to send me some of the real estate templates that you've already made? As far or as like, there, as far as like the message that I send people, or what type of template? I I I thought in one of your videos that you were like, oh, if you sign up for Kartra. Like I'll the landing you, pages? Yeah, the landing pages. Oh yeah, dude, for sure, bro. I'll send you all the all the share codes, and all you and do. I can sh I can share those with the realtor, right? When yes, he signs dude. up through my yes. link. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Here's, here's sure all you're gonna, gonna do. Huge learning, I'm sure there's gonna be a huge learning curve <laughs> when I get in there. Yeah, there, there's gonna be a huge learning curve, um, for sure. But but at the same time, you come from it. That's why, like, you're gonna be able to rel to relate to them. That that was my whole leverage is the fact that I was a loan guy, I was a mortgage guy. And I really use that to my advantage. The moment I, I told them that I was a lender, it, it, it just, their, their, their freaking guards were down. You know, like the moment I bring that up in the very beginning of our conversation, I'm like, dude, let me tell you a little bit about my background and why I truly believe most of you guys are missing the basics. I used to be a lender and I did mortgages for six years and blah, blah, blah. You know, so you being able to say you're a realtor, it's like, dude, they're going to relate for sure. Um, yeah. They're going to really relate with you for sure. For sure. I actually but, asked them that I'm working with because I'm doing it for free just yes. so I can learn everything. And yeah. I said, you know, I'm ready to take on another realtor. Do you mind referring me? And he goes, dude, I don't want to refer you because I don't want anyone to take what you're doing. Yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, okay, yeah. I understand. I'll go out somewhere else and try to find someone. <laughs> awesome, dude. What you're going to do is all, I'll email you share codes. Okay. So you'll get a handful of share codes. Okay. And, and once you get those share codes, and again, I'm recording this, so don't even worry about taking notes. Okay. But once you, once you get those share codes, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the left and you're going to click on my campaigns mm -hmm. and then you're going to click on available campaigns up here at the top. And then you're going to click on this green button and click and, and then click right here and then import that share code. It'll be a set of digits. Okay. So all you're going to do is just paste in that share code and then you're going to hit next right here and it'll, it'll walk you through it. And then once once it, it, it literally transfers in two seconds. So you'll have that camp, you'll have that entire funnel right away. And then what you're going to do is you're, you'll see it right here. And then you'll have to click on these three dots and you'll, and you'll, and you'll rather than just seeing view assets or deploy, you'll see, um, you'll either see it right here in available campaigns or you'll see it in my campaigns. Okay. Okay. Just, just make sure that it's, it's, it's in either one of them, but Either, either, or you're going to click on the three dots and you're going to click on accept. So you got to accept it first. Okay. You accept okay. it first. And then once you accept it, then it might be on the avail available campaigns, but once you accept it, then you, then you, if you need to refresh the page and then click on the three dots again and click on deploy. That's okay. It. That's it. And then you, and then you'll have the whole funnel and you can see, you'll see in my communications, you'll see the list right here if you hover over communications you'll see the sequence which is the which is the autoresponder because what i set up is just is just the basic template the list and then the sequence the sequence is your autoresponder so mm -hmm. i set up a handful of emails in a sequence like so for example um the listing funnel a person comes to your page they they um they opt in let's say you're let's say you're promoting a listing right let's just go to this basic one right here Let's say we're running ads to, to sell this house, right? That person comes over here, that lead, they, they see the Facebook ad, they click on learn more, they come here, they click the blue button, and now all of a sudden they opt in. They want more information on that listing. That person is now on a list, 
And then also that person is on a sequence. Now, not everybody that's on a list is on a sequence. It's up to you to set up a sequence. A sequence is right. just a series of emails that are going to go out. Okay. But, but in a, for a listing, for an open house, if you're giving out a buyer guide, if you're giving out a seller guide, it, you, you want a sequence because for example, if it was a listing that we were you know, running ads for, that person, they opt in, they're on a list, they're on a sequence. So right away, the list, right away, that person's going to get an email. Hey, hey, Scott, thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Here's a little bit about the, inf about the property. By the way, here's a little intro of me. Let me give you a little background. That first email that goes out is powerful. But tomorrow, another email is going to go out, and that's the sequence. Okay. So tomorrow, another, another email can go out, or two days later, or three days later, however you want to set that up but another email goes out. That's email number two. And that's all automated. So you can put a handful of emails in there, five emails, six emails, seven emails, however many you want. I have some lead, some list. I have some pages that again, when they opt in, they're on my list and they're in my sequence. I have some that are set up where there's 25 emails in that sequence. Now with the listing, you don't need that many at all. With an open house coming up, you don't need that many at all. But a buyer guide or seller guide, you want a handful for sure especially with the listing. Like if I opt in to your listing, I want information on that property. You got it. You know, you're promoting it, running Facebook ads. I opt in right away. I get an email, but tomorrow you better send me another email. And that's the sequence. So tomorrow I can get another email like, Hey John, or Hey Scott, or Hey Dave. I know yesterday you inquired on seven, seven, seven plus Boulevard. Hey, let me tell you a little bit more about this property and why people are fired up, blah, blah, blah. And by the way, Scott, Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your private showing. I cannot wait to show it to you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Two days later, another email goes out. Hey, Scott, just wanted to follow up. This is Dave. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. This property is not going to last. I have so many people freaking calling me. My phone is ringing off the hook. If you want to schedule a private showing, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And those are automated emails that are in my sequence that are going out whether it's for the listing, whether it's for an open house or a seller guide or a buyer guide, a buyer and a seller guide is perfect. Like you take me to your page, you're promoting a, a buyer guide. That's why it has to be multiple ads. Dude. You don't want to run just one ad. Like tell that agent, say, dude, this is, this is the time for you to ultimate, ultimately brand yourself. Like look at this as if you had 25 billboards in your local area on every corner. If mm -hmm. you had 25 billboards, bro, 25 bus, like when I was a lender, my best friend owned the company. In fact, he still owns the company. They do very, very well here in San Diego, huge mortgage company. But when I was running with him in 20, from 2010 to 2016, he has, and st still to this day, he has an unlimited marketing budget. The guy will spend whatever the hell to get a lead. And, and back then we were doing offline and he would put his <laughs> face on every freaking bus bench, dude, and, and not generate shit, but it was the brand right. that he cared about. And so imagine if you had 25 billboards on every freaking corner in your local area, that branding alone, people are driving on every street corner and seeing your freaking face. This is our opportunity for freaking pennies to run your face and to run your video every freaking week, but a different one. And so that's why I'm saying what, not every week that person's going to have a listing or an open house. That's why what you want to do with your agents is, is you don't want to focus. You don't want to, you don't want, that's not the strategy. The strategy. Yes. We'll run an ad whenever you have a listing. Yes. I'll run an ad for you whenever you have an open house, but the ultimate strategy, bro, is to, is to get your hands on a buyer or seller guide. That's what you're going to build your brand around. That's what's going to, that's what this entire Facebook campaign will consist of is you branding yourself as the local real estate professional and giving away value for free. That's why a video for you to give me two minutes on the, on, on, on different tips on selling my property. And every week you give me a new two minutes and now it becomes a weekly TV show. Scott's 10 tips to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. And it, and it becomes this weekly TV show. And we put up one video every week <clears throat> and we run that as an ad. And at the end of the video, Hey guys, and by the way, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my web page where you can download your free 2020 seller guide. This seller guide is going to give you all the tips and tricks on what you need to do to your property before you decide to sell. Click learn more. I'll see you guys on the next page. So the entire campaign evolves around a seller guide or a buyer guide. And once I get that person to opt in to get it for free, a free PDF, a free download, that person is in my sequence. So that's a good, a good sequence to set up maybe, maybe 10, 15 emails in that sequence mm -hmm. following 
the fact that that person downloaded my seller guide. So they download my seller guide today. Boom, right away they're gonna get an email. Hey Scott, thank you so much. Here's your, here's your, here's your free seller guide. It's, I just sent it to you via email. Take a look at it. And by the way, check your emails over the next few days because I got a ton of emails coming your way that's gonna teach you a bunch of amazing stuff. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And so what I would have set up in this sequence is, is maybe one email to go out every other day for the next 30 days. And, and I would build that entire sequence around the seller guide. So again, the moment they opt in, boom, they get an email with the PDF, a link to download it. But tomorrow, hey, Scott, this is Dave. I know yesterday you downloaded my, my free 2020 seller guide. Just wanted to say thank you again and, and, and just introduce myself. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about curb appeal? Here's what I meant. A quick few sentences. And by the way, Scott, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time to talk. Can't wait to talk to you. And then two days later, bro, another email goes out. Hey, Scott, just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, remember on page seven when I was talking about the, the importance of renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant by it. Hey, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So now you just so have a series of emails that are going out re-educating them on what they opted in for with a call to action to schedule a call. Right. Okay. And those can be just text emails or are those all videos? Shit, bro. I'd make it video. I, in my, in, with, in my personal business, mine are video. Like, like you'll, you'll have like an email. Emails that go out every, every, like the fifth, the sequence emails. The, hey, that's, this is what I meant. Like, would, the, would that be someone speaking in a video or would you be typing that? Yes. No, dude video video um video and 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 type in it so for example um here is one that i that i um that i wrote out this is exactly how the sequence would look the email would look so for example this is one of them here's a subject line okay now this is for this is when i was this is an email that went out to a, a, a few different lists not just agents but in fact, this email didn't even go to agents. This, this, this email went out to, to people that are on my other list. Okay. Here's the email. I'm writing out a simple, and this is my words, man. That's why in email, don't think you have to be this grammar straight A student. Like, no, dude, like tell that agent or, or even in your case, all this stuff is you, bro. Like break it down to how you even talk. Like your personality, your freaking imperfections. Like I write out the emails like I talk you know, keep it real. Like that's the authenticity of what I'm, what I'm doing, you know? So mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a, there's a few lines, right? But then here's what I do in my emails is 99%. Actually, I would say 100% shit. 100% of people rather watch a video on something than read your damn blog, read your article, read your PDF, read your whatever. They'd rather watch a damn video. That's how Americans are, dude. We'd rather watch something <laughs> than freaking read something, right? None of us freaking read. And so the email, what I'll try to do is I'll try to keep it as short as possible. Um, and then I'll just link them to a freaking another page, Karcher page, where it's me on video. Gotcha. So this right here is a Karcher page. And down here is a call to action to get them to schedule a call. So if I was setting this up for a realtor, this would be a page where I would have that. And that's what I'm saying. You're not going to have many that are even, that are even willing to go this far with you, man. This is something that you can do for your business. Like for you to be reaching out to realtors, this is kind of a tip for you because you're all in, right. you're looking to build this. Most, most realtors do. They're not, they're not going to even want to go this far. Like as yeah. powerful as, as it is, they're, 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 they're not even thinking like this. It's like, because again, they're not thinking marketing. This is, this is, they're not thinking online marketing. Let me put it that way. They're probably thinking marketing, but they're not thinking online marketing. Well, I think they're just following what the other people yeah, of have course. told them and passed down from passed down to yes. direct mail outs and look mm -hmm. at the billboards and yeah. Yep. So in this case, let's say, for example, you downloaded my seller guide two days ago. Now, all of a sudden I write you an email and in that email, I'm getting you to click to watch a video. I bring you here and let's just say this is a two minute video of me talking about, let, dude, here, I mean, again, man, not 99.9% .9 of agents are not going to do this, but at the same time, if you can find that 1%, that's who you want to run with. It's the 1%, right. it's the 1%, bro. Because the advice that I gave another agent not too long ago, Chris Garcia, 
he's in Texas. He's a hardcore realtor. He crushes it. And I was just giving him these ideas and he was just blown away. I'm like, Chris, here's what you need to do, bro. Buyer guide, seller guide. And after that person downloads it and opts in and they download it, the sequence emails that go out, here's what I want you to do. Since you're talking about selling, since you're giving away a seller guide and you're branding yourself in your local area as that listing agent, here's what I want you to do. I want you to start doing it this way. Start putting out emails in that sequence, but every email is going to be tied to a video and it's going to go to one single page. This is going to be a simple video that you're going to do on your cell phone. And what you're going to do is you're going to go out to a freaking property, go out to a shitty property, go, go out to a ran down property and, and just give us little two minute clips on what you would do to increase that value. Mm, that's hey guys, one. this is Chris. Just wanted to show you what I would do. Hey, I'm just walking in my neighborhood and I came across this property. But if you could take a look, look at the landscaping, look at the curb appeal and look at how everything, the, 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 the trees and everything freaking needs to be cut. It's like, bro, how simple. You guys know all this stuff like the back of your hand. But what I'm saying, my whole point is do it in video. So, so, so a handful of emails that are going out to a lead who just downloaded your seller guide and now they're receiving a video email every other day talking about all these different tips and it's you on your cell phone in front of a damn property giving away this type of advice. Dude, that lead's going to be blown away. That lead's going to be like, holy shit, I need to work with this guy. Okay, cool. Let me click, let me click the button and let me schedule a call with this guy now because this guy knows what he's doing. And so right. I'm just simply linking him to a page. Here's a cartridge page. Two, two, three, 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 three main reasons why, why I take them to a page from the email. Number one reason, so I could Facebook pixel them. So now I'm building a custom audience of all those, are, all those people, all those leads who are landing on my pages, right? That's number mm -hmm. one. And then number two, rather than taking them straight to YouTube, I take them straight to my YouTube video, but it's on a Karcher page. So rather than taking them straight to YouTube where two seconds later, they're watching cat videos, right? Mm -hmm. And I completely lose their attention. So number two reason, I keep their attention. Now they can always click right here, obviously. They can click the, the title and all of a sudden they're on YouTube watching cat videos. But, but, but at least I can keep their attention a little longer by having it just on one page, right? That's number two. And then number three, it's that button below. It's that call to action. And, and, and while I'm doing that video, and this, this is going to be seven videos, I'm going to give them seven tips on what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be in front of a property on my cell phone giving this simple tip, right? At the end of that video, there's a call to action. And the call to action is, is to get them to click the button below. Hey, guys, and by the way, if you'd love to really get dive deeper into this and get even more nuts and uh, golden nuggets of, out of me, Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. And by the way, make sure you check my emails. I have a lot of tips and videos coming your way. Talk to you soon. Right? So the upfront work of it all, yes, it's upfront. We got to put together the page. We got to go out there <laughs> and do the damn videos. But after that, bro, like that's all upfront. After that, it becomes an oil machine. It's an automated machine. So, from so that they don't they don't have to keep making different videos for months on end. It's just, or do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. To think of another new video. Oh, go to the house <laughs> or go to the buy, buyer seller guide or let's replay something. When it comes to the Facebook ad that, that ideally you want a new Facebook video every week for the ad. We want to run a different for, ad every for week months on end. Like, yeah. Continue. Yeah, dude, every week, bro, that, that's, their, that's their job. That's their responsibility. That is your only homework, bro. Is you need, I'm going to run Facebook ads, and we're going to crush it, and I'm going to capture leads for you. But what I need you to do is I need you to be willing to put out a video every week. And if you can't do that, we're not going to crush it. Right. So that's we're not bottom just line. A, buyer, a buyer guide or a seller guide. Or a seller guide. For, forever. We're, we, we're rotating. Is that what we're doing? You're not rotating, but again, for the Facebook ad, you want a new one every week. A new talk about something different regarding selling every week. And every and at the end of every video, there's a call to action to click learn more to download your seller guide. But once uh -huh. they click on learn more and they download your seller guide, then they're on the list. And they're in the sequence. But in the sequence, I don't need a new one every day for that. I just need to set up maybe 10 of them. 
Maybe, maybe I have 10 tips. Maybe, maybe I'm taking them to a page like this where um, it's, just, it's just promoting a simple seller guide, 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Okay, cool. So now I'm giving away a PDF that has 10 tips on it. Okay, now I'm going to build my sequence around those 10 tips. So I'm going to go make 10 videos, curb appeal, renovating the kitchen, renovating the bathroom, flooring, roof. All these things that you guys already know, bro, 10, 10 tips. And my whole email sequence is now 10 emails, AKA 10 videos around that. And now all I'm doing is running Facebook ads to capture leads and fill my funnel. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And to the same odd custom audience that you've to, built. To, to, to the custom audience that I'm retargeting or just continually targeting San Diego, San Diego, San Diego, right. just, or my farm or the handful of zip codes, whatever. You know, every, every week I'm going to continue to target my farm, but I'm also retargeting all those who are landing on my pages or, or, or simply engaging with my video or they're watching my video. I'm retargeting all those people, you know? So, and, and, and also I'm excluding all of those who already became a lead. That's another part of Facebook ads where you have to create a custom audience of all those who are already leads. So when you can do that, then you can continue to target every week and not continue to hit people that already opted in. Gotcha. Yeah. Right? I've, I think that one of your videos about excluding or yeah. people that, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I understand. You exclude those, those people. So. And you can't, um, you can't ex exclude realtors anymore, right? Like um, if I read an ad, cause this guy had two realtors click on his ad and he called and they said, oh, we're just realtors. We were just checking to see what you're doing. When you're, so when you're a realtor running, real, when, you're, when you're a realtor running Facebook ads, you cannot. Um, yeah. You, in your case, I mean, if you're not a realtor, then yet, yes, you can. You can exclude them. But, but yeah, not a, not a realtor. But at the same time, bro, it's like, dude, a lot of, it's so crazy because a lot of you guys, and I'm saying you guys because you used to be a realtor. I mean, shit, a lot of people are, are always, I, I get it a lot, bro, where you're, you're a, a, a realtor is concerned about another realtor seeing their marketing. I don't know why it's like that. Why are you guys like that? No one cares. Like you might have a couple that, that click, but it's like, dude, there's thousands of them that aren't even seeing your ad. But you know, what's funny. You say that that's exactly true. But at the same time, they're going around their office asking people, tell me what you do. Right. So I want you to share, but when you tell me, I don't want to share it to everyone else. Right. But, but here's the thing too, dude, what, what you got to always, always, always keep in mind. And there's a reason why on my YouTube channel, I didn't used to post my, my, my calls. Like these calls that I have with realtors, I never posted them before. I, I recently started doing that, bro. Um, and, 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 and it wasn't recent until I really started teaching even more in these tutorial videos because I realized, and I also learned that 99.99% of the people that see it ain't going to do shit anyways. So it's like, yeah. I don't need to worry about Scott taking my, 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 and even if I do come across a Scott, that's one person. That's one person out of 2,500 subscribers on my YouTube channel that actually wants to come after realtors with me. One person, bro. Everybody else. I don't, I, I ain't worried about competition. Mm -hmm. And even if you go all in and go hardcore with this, I'm still not even worried about you being my competitor. If we're going after the same market, I'm not even worried about that. So my point is, is that, I give out all my information for damn near free because I know yeah. majority of people aren't going to do it. So a realtor, if you're running ads, just know, okay, yeah, a couple of realtors may see it. A few may see it, but just know none of them are going to do shit about it. Right. They're not going to. Well, if, even if they do, we had a saying, you know, there's enough houses that get there's sold enough, every day. Yes, dude. Yes. Plenty. There's yeah. plenty. So I, I, I would, I would, I would look at everything that way, you know, don't care. Like, and, and if anything, these people, dude, and, and especially in your, in your industry, realtors, it's like, dude, you guys network and partner and referral and build refer agent, referral agents all the time. So it's like, dude, these agents that start to see your ad, these people are going to freaking eventually, if they keep seeing it and they really know that you're doing good, these people are going to want to work with you. They're going to want to partner up with you. They're going to want to be referrals because right. they know that you're crushing it. They're going to respect you. Like you're going to get a different level of respect because these people are actually tapping in to see what you're doing. Right. So yeah. That perspective, you know? Yeah. No, you're, you're absolutely right. Right. So, uh, so yeah, dude. So there's, there's a lot to it, um, on the Kartra side. Um, but, but again, it's, it's just, 
I mean, shit, it's, it's a business and it's, and it's never, it's never ending. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll be tweaking on this stuff forever, man. You know, I've been, I've been really trying to master this for literally the last two years. Like literally I jumped on a car tour in 2018. Mm -hmm. So the past two years, exactly. I jumped, I have a video on my YouTube channel, bro. You can go all the way back to it. I have a video July. It was either July 1st or it was July 15th of 2018. When I'm doing a video, walking people through as I set up my 14 day trial, I literally have that video recorded. And so oh. I've been tracking the code on this since then. And it's, it's never ending, you know? Yeah. But at the same time, no, you'll get better and you'll learn, you'll learn fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to kind of, Oh, um, can you, can you host live webinars on the 99 plan? You're, you can't like, host live webinars, um, nor do you need to. What are you thinking with the live webinar? Like if I wanted to, for realtors, if I said, hey, you know, every Sunday night, I'm going to do a live thing about the Kartra or I'm going to do a live thing about kind of how to help you with your business. So jump on or something and I'll, I'll do it live. Yes. Or well, even not live, even recorded. Just can you do something like that? What you, if it was recorded... Yes. If it was recorded, like, for example, this is a recording, whether it's right. a YouTube video or whether it's a, whether it's just a raw video that I took from my computer and uploaded it to Kartra, that's a recorded video. But, um, if you were doing something live, I would use, I would use zoom because it's free zoom.us, right? I would use that. And I would simply maybe, maybe promote it, promote it on social media or however you plan on promoting it. And promote it as a as a weekly a weekly training, and what I would do is I would set up a, a landing page and get people to register, get people to opt in, um, okay. and that could be that could be this this type of page over here. So if you come over here to my pages, and you click on the green button and you go and start a new page, there's a ton of templates in here. That could be a webinar registration. So over here. There's a ton of templates, bro, that are already, mm -hmm. already done for you. You know, so, so for example, this right here, you could be promoting on social media every Sunday night. I go live on a training, blah, 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 register here. And then, and then boom, there's the details. They click on the button to claim their spot, claim your seat, register now, whatever. And then the way I would have, and this is a simple two page funnel. The landing page is page one. When they click on that button, an opt-in form pops up, they fill it out, then they go to the thank you page, that's page two. And then what you and then and then whoever opts in is on a list. And then what I would do is I would set up a sequence. So the sequence, or even just the list, that person clicks on the button, they opt in, and right away that first welcome email goes out. Let's say they're not even on a sequence. But but actually to tell you truth, I would put them on a sequence because it's a weekly thing. So every week I would have an email that goes out via the sequence, just reminding them of a new weekly training, but just, but just the first one, they come here, they opt in and right away they receive an email with your zoom link to attend the training this Sunday. Gotcha. Yeah. So, I, I think I might have to pay for the zoom. I, I haven't looked into it, but I think if there's multiple people on yeah, it, yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. But it's, yeah, it's probably, it's probably not much. But. Yeah. It's, I think it's like, I think it's like 15 bucks a month. Yeah. But um, I guess that'd be step two in my, my journey. Yeah. I, I do that I, later I, on, man. One. <laughs> yeah. I would do that later on and, and I would just focus on getting a handful of clients right now. But, but here, yeah. here, here's the biggest advice I can give you because this, okay. is, this is definitely not what I did in the beginning at all at all at all at all and i think if and, and i know if i did i would have probably crushed it even more but um but but i didn't the biggest advice i can give you is turn this first client into a case study and use him as a guinea pig and then and then use him as your freaking proof and you take that case study and you take it and you just take it to every agent after that hey john Hey man, I just want to know if you had a few minutes to chat. You know, I'm, I'm helping a lot of real estate agents. In fact, I wanted to show you what I did for my buddy, John. We captured these many leads uh, and, and, and we're really taking his business to another level. I wanted to kind of show you exactly what I did for him because I truly believe I can do it for you as well. And then, and then you just, and, and now every appointment that you get on after that, you're literally using him as your presentation. Right. Yeah. So, 
he's I am using him as a guinea pig because he's yeah. he's allowing me this weekend to run a like ad, which I haven't done yet. Mm -hmm. But I've watched your video, so I, I have an idea. Um, it was it was just a simple love real estate. Click here, yeah, and yeah. then a picture of the house or something, and then you send it worldwide. Yes, yes, um, yes. And and, and let them know. Say, hey man, every realtor has two hundred likes. All we're gonna do is just do this real quick and take it up to twenty four hundred, real quick. Just so when people land there, your page looks legit and you have that authority credibility. Every agent has two hundred. I want you to have two thousand. Right. And and the only way we're gonna do it is if we run it if we run it to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership or fits the interest of real estate. So it's gonna go to everyone on Facebook. But again, and I tell people all the time, it's like, dude. The 300 likes that you have on your page, those are all people that you clicked invite to that are on your personal friend list. 99% of the friends on your personal friend list don't know you and they don't even live in the area. So the 400 likes that you have, bro, your leads aren't coming from there anyways. And also Facebook only shows it every time you post. That's why if you go to your friend's page and no matter how many likes he has, he doesn't have that many. I know for a fact. And, and I don't even know him. I, I never even seen his page, but I already know yeah, a couple hundred right. likes that he has. If you know, if you look at all of his posts, if he's ever, if he's posting at all, random post, he is posting, but yeah, if you look at the engagement, not many, not much engagement, right? Because Facebook only shows it to 1% of his like count. Okay. So that's number one. Facebook is, that's why the likes, that's not where leads are coming from, but that's where the first impression comes from when someone lands on your page and they see 157 likes versus landing on my page and seeing 10,000. They don't know you, they don't know me. But the perception is completely different. They're believing me more than more than any more than them, right? Because of that perception. So, I tell them all the time because they're like, "Oh, I, I just want to target my local area." It's like, "No, dude. First of all, you you, you don't want to because if you run a like ad and you only target San Diego, you're going to spend freaking 500 bucks for 13 likes. And what I'm telling you at the end of the day, Facebook only shows it to 1%. So it doesn't even matter. I'm only doing it for the vanity of it. I'm only doing right. it to beef up your page and make it look like the shit. But, but, but yeah, the likes are going to come from everywhere and keep in mind, it's only one ad. It's one strategy. It's the only way we can get a few thousand likes fast. After that, we then pivot and only run local lead capture ads. But by the time we pivot and start targeting your backyard, you're going to have 3,700 likes and every agent in your town has 300. Now, now I've done, I've tried to research online about the like ads and they, they seem to send them worldwide, mm -hmm. but some people are excluding the United States, Canada, Australia. United yeah, you don't Kingdom. need to, you don't need to. They're more expensive, I guess, more expensive to get that like. No, no. I, I mean, I could do If I showed you my freaking account account, yeah. you'd be, I'm recording this. So I don't want my other people to see it, but at the same time, it's like you, your jaw <laughs> would hit the ground. Like it's, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. But, um, okay. But no, you don't need to, you don't need to exclude anything. Just, you don't need okay. to exclude. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I run, I ran okay. thousands of that exact ad bro for agents. Yeah. So, um, but, but yeah, that they should be paying you for that. And at the same time, bro, I don't tell them how much that ad costs. So you're, you're bringing them on. You know, and, and, and at the same time, if they're not, if, especially if this first one, if they're not paying you yet, what I would tell him is I would say, Hey man, I spoke to my buddy. I have a mentor. I have someone that's coaching me on Facebook ads right now and Kartra. So the guy knows what he's saying. And what he's telling me is that for every hundred bucks, we can go up another 1000 likes. That's what I would tell your friend, man, even though it's your friend and he's not paying you right now. I would well, still I don't know him. I just outreached. Okay. So, so, so your price point is, is a hundred bucks for every yeah. 1000. Right now. Are you now, I know when you talk to people on your videos, you say, just pay for the ad spend or something. Are you making money out of that hundred dollars or yes, is it bro. actual hundred dollars? Yes. yes, bro. The, 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 because again, it's, it's a hundred bucks for every 1000. Okay. And so, but to answer your question, the answer is yes. The profit yeah. margin is ridiculous. Yeah. So, so um, if you pitch so, it to them that way, then yeah, right. I'm putting a hundred bucks. I, I tell them, yeah, I'm going to put a hundred bucks towards this ad spend. Um, but, but again, I'm running it from my ad account. That's the only ad that I run from my site. 
So they're not seeing the analytics on that first like ad. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're just giving me their credit card. Facebook's charging me. Um, I'm charging them through my Stripe account. And it is what it is. A hundred bucks for every 1,000. But yes, there's so a how, margin. How long would you run the ad for? Um, in that case, for a thousand. Yeah. I can literally run it for three days and, oh, wow. take, and take a person from a hundred likes to a thousand in three days. And you're doing like five or 10 bucks a day? Five bucks. Spend? Five bucks? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, so that, that's a really, really, really fast ad. And that's what I tell them. I say, Hey man, this is a one-time ad. It's a quick ad. I'm going to get you a few thousand likes quick, but for mm -hmm. everyone, for every 1000, it's a hundred dollars. So how many thousand do we want to go up? And, and that's right. why I have a lot of agents that, that will say, okay, David, take me up, take me up 3000, take me up 4000, take me up 5000. Okay, cool. For every 1000, it's a hundred. So 4000, that's 400. Okay, cool. Do you want to post it on a visa, MasterCard or American Express? Right. And they'll just give me their card and, and we'll, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, charge them 400 and take them up 4,000 likes. And, and, and again, there, there's a, there's a pretty, a pretty good margin in that for, yeah for you, you know? So, okay. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited about this fan. Like I've, I've researched, I think every platform that compares to Kartra and I'm good, an analytical good. guy. Good. It just seems like it's got everything I want for the 99 bucks. Like it's awesome. Yeah, yeah bro. It, it's really, it's really, I mean, once you do start, I mean, my products, if you ever do go that, go that route, like as far as selling digital products, that's, that's an ebook. Um, like if you want to sell an ebook or if you're selling any, anything digital, selling a course, um, that's my products. But really what, what Kartra really allows you to do for the price that most, that most of these don't is, is the my communications, which is the email autoresponder and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the landing pages and the calendar all in one. So right. you can't, you can, there's not many softwares out there. In fact, I don't, I don't think there's one for this price that you can get those three. So even though yeah. there's way more of my products, my membership, you can build a course. Um, the entire course is on Kartra. All of that is included, but, but just looking at, at my communications, the email autoresponder, my pages, the landing pages, and my calendar, the calendar, those three alone, dude, cost separate. Like if you were to go anywhere else, and that's what everybody does, they'll, they'll get a separate email autoresponder, they'll get click funnels for the landing page, and then for the calendar, they'll use like Calendly or, some, or Schedule Once or some third-party software. Mm -hmm. Those are three monthly bills. So... That's why when I pitch this to agents, I'm like, dude, forget about all this other stuff. Landing pages, email, autoresponder, and your calendar. That's $99 a month, and that is well worth it. You know? Yeah, so, I totally agree. I've done my research. I've checked them out. I've talked to people, and it just, for the price point, you get it all. Yeah, There's other right. ones that you go, well, their, their price point's $97, but they don't add the calendar. So you got to pay $200 to get the calendar. Dude, or the email autoresponder. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah and, yeah. and at the same time, not to toot my horn, but it's like shit, bro. Then you have, now you have access to me who can walk you through all this shit. So and that, yeah. That, talk about added value. <laughs> right. It's like, dang, dude, like, you know, so it's like, yeah, dude. So we can always schedule calls. I can always jump on with you and, and yeah. help you with this stuff. I mean, and then, and then we, and then Karcher has their live, you know, webinar Q and a screen share, just like this. They have their live call every Tuesday and Thursday as well. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what yeah. most software companies don't do, bro. ClickFunnels does not have that like at all. Like they have some type of onboard training, but, and, and that's what they push everybody to do is to, is to make sure that you get on the training call. And at the end of that training call, they're pitching you a $2,000 training to teach you all of it. Mm. It's like, dude, are you kidding? That's why I, I can never get ClickFunnels off the ground. It's, it was weird to me, man. It was weird to me, but, but a huge thing that's, that, that, that stood out for me was the support and the training and the fact that they do these training calls every Tuesday and Thursday. And that's all I did in the beginning is I freaking jumped on these calls every Tuesday and Thursday. And I just sat back like a fly on the wall and, and, and these nerds, these Karcher support, they're freaking nerds, bro. And I love nerds, right? They're smart ass people. <laughs> and, and these are, this is Karcher support and they just do a Q and a, so you can always jump on and say, Hey guys, I'm stuck on my landing page. Can you help me, help me? You know, I don't understand this part. And they literally answer your question and walk you through it in real time. Right. An hour long, you know, every, every Tuesday and Thursday. And then, yeah. And then we have the Karcher group with like 19,000 people. So you can always drop a question in there and, 
freaking 10,000 people to reply. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that's, um, I think, as well. I think the last question I had, cause I'm, I'm, I'm just, I know you're a busy guy. Um, oh, good, brother. Oh, is, good. um, when it comes to um, pivoting to like the social media side, I did see that you had like a, an onboarding for clients. Mm-hmm. So when a client said, yeah, I'll give you 200 bucks, then you would go in and put their email and then they'd be put into a sequence. Yes, dude. Um, yes. Yes. Do, do you, is that just a simple landing page that just enter your email and then it goes to realtor clients? It is dude. It is. It's simple. And I set up landing pages for a lot of it. Like I can, because I can physically, like if I close a client, like I can physically come over here to my communications. I can click on leads. I can click on the green button and add that lead. But even right there, just right there was too many damn clicks for me. Right there, just right there, bro. Before I even, and then I end up clicking the green button and then I got to click this and then I got to add everything. It's like, dude, that, that, that already I'm, I'm out. Like don't count me in for that. That's already too many steps. But if I just simply create a simple landing page and put a form, which is this one right here. So um, as I onboard, it's, it's step one. So this is my onboarding page right here. As I onboard a client, I email them this link. And the reason why I email it to them is so I can, so Facebook can pixel them on their IP address. And now I create a whole custom audience of those people. Cause if I came in here and, and, and just pulled up the page, it's, 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 it's tracking it from my computer, right? Mm-hmm. I want to be, I want Facebook to track them from their computer. So I simply email them this onboarding link. And then from their end, they'll come over here, they'll opt in. And now they're on a sequence. They're on a list my clients and then they're on a sequence my clients and so is that, is that is that where they get an email of what you need from them for login information and all that yes. stuff yes okay yes okay. and then and then the way i have mine set up is the first email is that but then a few days later i'll send out another email and i'll say hey john just wanted to follow up just wanted to follow up i know i know um our like ad is in play and we got a lot of, we got a lot of, what up E? I, I, I'll, t- I'll tell him in that email, like that second, e- what up E? What up? Uh, I'll be right there, bro. This is my buddy, Scott. Scott, what that's up, E Scott? right there. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm doing he well. crushes it. He yeah. crushes it with life insurance, Scott. So he's a life insurance freaking 20 year veteran. Like this guy knows a ton about life insurance. Now he's looking to take it on a Kartra, start capturing leads. So he's a whole online. Now he's all into online marketing and, you know, and that type of stuff. But, sure. but what That's I was a- telling you, Scott, is the fact that that person will opt in and then, okay. and then, and then, and then, uh, and then, and then I have a handful of emails that, that go out. But again, with me, I'll start a client off small, a couple hundred, right? 200, 300, 500, maybe even a thousand, start them off small. And my sequence is designed to get them to schedule another appointment. So I don't start them off big right away. Like I I start them off small. Let me go, let me go optimize your social media links. Let me get everything matching. Let me, let me get you this, this social media branding down for you. Let me run this like ad, right? Let me run the like ad. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then then once I get all that up and going, then we'll talk about running lead capture ads. That's, that's how I, how I take it. And then, and then it's in my sequence where I'll have a handful of emails. Hey, Scott, just wanted to follow up. Hey man, we had a great run on the like ad. All of your links are now optimized. Everything is matching. Your branding is looking great. Hey, now it's time to start capturing leads. Now it's time to move on to step three and start focusing on local lead capture. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule a time to talk. Can't wait to talk to you. And then, and then also in my sequences, I'll also have emails that go out that are tied to a video that say, Hey Scott, just wanted to follow up. Hey, we've been, you know, a few days ago or, or, or now by this time, it's actually a couple of weeks ago, mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago, we got everything started. Your like count is through the roof now. Hey, let me show you a quick video on this software by the name of Kartra that I use to create these landing pages and capture leads. And what I do in my sequence is I'll show them a video and it's me on screen share literally showing them the Kartra page. Hey guys, I have this listing funnel. I have this buyer guide funnel. I have this seller guide funnel. Hey, and, and if you want to start your 14, 14 day trial, click the link below. It'll, it'll take you straight to the page where you can set up your 14 day trial. So my whole sequence, man, is either trying to get you back. It's, it's trying to get you and introduce you to Kartra or trying to get you to schedule a call to talk about the next step. 
Right. And that's when I'm going to take you from, from you giving me 400 the first time three weeks ago. And I have, I have my sequences set up where, where they're going out every five days for the next 30 days. So that's, that, that, what is that? That's, um, that's six emails or five emails, five, yeah, six emails that they're going to right. receive every five days for the next 30 days. And all of that, all of those emails are designed to get them on Kartra and I'm showing them tutorials via video, or they're designed to get them back on the phone to now take them from spending 400 up front to me to now spending 2000 a month with me. I need you back on the phone. So, and, 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 and the whole motivation for them or the whole motivation overall is just, is just to start capturing leads It's now it's time. Now our, our links look good. Our likes look good. Now it's time to start capturing leads. So click the, the, the link below and let's schedule a call. I'd love to talk to you. So that's when I'm, that's when I'm, that, that's how I onboard the clients and that's how the, the sequence, you know, is laid out. That's awesome. You know, so, so, so set up your 14 day trial, bro. And then I'll, I'll show yep. you the, the, the share codes and that's yep. how you import it. And I'll, I'll send you this video later on so you, you can walk through it again. Yeah. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Cool. Hey, so I, I know you're, you're in a busy, but, um, Hey, dude, you have the link to my calendar. So if you want to schedule another one, just set up the 14 day trial, set up the 14 yep. day trial and then schedule another call. And we'll go from that there. That sounds great. All right. I appreciate right it. Right on, brother. Have a good weekend, man. Yep. You too. Later on. Bye.